Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 7 through 10. They read as follows If I announce that a certain nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down, and destroyed, but then that nation renounces its evil ways, I will not destroy it as I have planned. And if I announce that I will plant and build up a certain nation or kingdom, but then that nation turns to evil and refuses to obey me, I will not bless it as I said I would. In our verses today, we read of how the Lord wants to give the prophet Jeremiah a message. So he tells him, go down to the potter's house where I'll give you a message. Jeremiah goes down to the potter's house and he sees the potter with a lump of clay on his you know, wheel, he's forming the clay into a pot, but the clay is marred. So the potter decides to form it into another type of pot. And the Lord tells Jeremiah, can I not do the same thing with Israel? And then he tells Jeremiah our verse, if I say that destruction is gonna to come to a nation or a kingdom, but they relent, they repent from their evil ways, then I'm not gonna destroy it. If I say I'm gonna build up a place and they turn to evil ways, then I am not going to bless it. God is saying that like clay in the potter's hands, I can form and fashion what's mine however I wish. But there is a difference between a clump of clay and a nation or a kingdom or even a person. And that difference is that those over here, the nation, the kingdom, the person, those involved people and people can play a part in how the outcome comes. I believe I've learned something about the Lord. While the Lord is just and he is holy and he is righteous and he can't dwell with sin and all of our works as are as filthy rags and he is just, I mean, he's the epitome. He is just and holy. He is also merciful and kind and loving. He is always looking to extend mercy. God is merciful, friends. He is so merciful and he's always looking for ways to extend that mercy, to help us, to give us another chance, to give us one more shot at it. God is not up in heaven, you know, with a bop where he's ready to bop us on the head every time, you know, we mess up or pull the rug out from under us every time we get prideful or, you know, full of ourselves or even like point the finger like, oh, I told you so. Every time we make a mistake, he's not like that. Again, he is holy though, and there are certain things that just will happen because he's holy. We are in our sinful states when we enter this earth, so we can't dwell with the Lord. He can't dwell with sin, but then he in his mercy provides a way for us to dwell with him through faith in Jesus Christ. And just like God doesn't want to destroy a nation or a kingdom because he is so merciful, he doesn't want any of us destroyed either, whether that's literally or figuratively. He does not want our lives destroyed, but it is up to us to humble ourselves and to obey him. It's up to us to Say, you know what, Lord, I blew it. I need you. I'm really sorry. Or maybe we're on the right path and we think, you know what, Lord, I don't want pride to enter in. I don't want to think I can do this on my own. I need your help. Kind of like what we see in our verses today. Friends, God is good. He is so good and he's so merciful. And whether we've messed up in a big way or a small way, we never have to feel as though we need to shrink back from the Lord. We need to pull away from the Lord because he won't love us and accept us. He is always there with wide open arms, ready to have us back, ready to accept us, ready to love us, ready to put us on the right path for our lives. Maybe you walked away from the Lord and you kind of don't think you are worthy for him to have you back. Maybe you have, you've been walking with the Lord, but you just kind of blatantly sinned and you blew it. Or maybe you're walking with God and you've been tempted and you just could veer off course, honestly, at any kind of moment, like any of us, without the grace of the Lord. Please know that you don't have to feel as though you need to pull away from God. If anything, that is the exact moment to draw closer to him. He will always accept you. He will always take you right where you are. He will always take you just as you are. He loves you that much. Please know that God is waiting for you with wide open arms, wide open arms. He loves you. You just have to go to him. If you feel you need to come back to the Lord in some way, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I really need your help. Please come into my heart. I make you my savior and the Lord of my life. Help me, Lord, not to sin. Help me, Lord, not to feel as though I have to draw away from you. Thank you for taking me just as I am. And thank you for loving me, Lord, just where I am. 
I give you my life, Lord. And I want your life, Lord, you to live in me. And I want to be yours. I love you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters, and I pray that they would know how much you love them, how much you're for them, and how much you're with them, Lord. And I pray that this would be the day that they start a new God, a new day, Lord, right with you on your right path. In Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. And God bless you.